Can anyone knock the Patriots off of their AFC East throne, please? Can someone do it? I am begging any team from the AFC East to just knock them out. I'm sick of them being at the top. Give them a freaking challenge already. Um, well, in that case, I'm looking at the Miami Dolphins. They might be the closest team to doing so, although that Bills defense looks pretty stout this season. Um, but obviously the passing game and offense looks like crap. Um, Dolphins seem to figure it out. Got a nice offense going um, under Tannehill. Nice core wide receivers as a whole. Guy like Lamar Miller, kind of the committee thing going. Um, but he seems to be a somewhat featured back. I'm not quite giving him the whole role yet, um, just until the attempts come up, which could be this season, and I'm hoping they do. Um, I'm Jason Gilbo here from Hansen Football Cafe, taking a look in South Beach for some value with the Miami Dolphins. And Ryan Tannehill, great lower round QB um, to really ride this season. He has shown strides in each of his first three years. Last year being the biggest jump um, in the third year, so that's good for him. Jumping from a 60% completion rate to a 66 completion rate uh, last season. Threw for 4,000 yards, 27 touchdowns. Um, I like those numbers as a pretty nice floor. And I still like Matt Ryan, Eli Manning, Phillip Rivers over him, just for a safety track record standpoint. Um, but they're all floating around in that range where I, I would be happy with any all four of those guys is one of my quarterbacks um, without really drafting up for a quarterback and stack another skill position. So, um, but I like Tannehill putting up on par with those numbers, especially along with Matt Ryan. He's never quite gotten the the, the uh, touchdown numbers up, um, and I don't think that's going to happen a lot this year, but he should float around 25 to 30 like all those guys. So uh, I like Tannehill. Going to be a solid, solid uh, fancy quarterback for, I think, a while. And... Um, the kind of guy I want to compare him to um, is Phillip Rivers, who's just going to quietly get it done year in and year out with that 30 touchdown upside. Um, that's kind of where I see Tannehill going as a career standpoint. Really nice core of wideouts. You got Kenny Stills, Jarvis Landry. First round pick Devontae Parker coming over um, out of college at, from Louisville there. So you got to like him. Um, maybe not this year, but he's definitely going to be a, a wide receiver one probably in the future as long as he's healthy and that that. That foot checks out because um, he did have surgery on it. Had some issues in college with it, so it is something to keep an eye on. Uh, speaking of injuries, Jordan Cameron coming over from the Browns uh, can be a big-time asset for Tannehill, and I really like his upside um, as long as he stays healthy. That's the only issue for him. Like I said, Devontae Parker, you're likely number one wide out for the future in Miami. Um, this year I'm not so, so sure, um, but I would I believe the targets are going to be fairly spread out in Miami over this season. Um, I think Jarvis Landry is going to be a receptions machine. Um, but like I said, the injury is the issue with, with Parker there. Um, should be clear, ready to go. Um, but they're not going to rush him back just with all those guys around. Was taken off the pup list, so good news there. Um, I'm likely holding off on Parker for this season and just diverting my attention to some of the other wideouts around the, around the rankings. Um, Jarvis Landry is a real guy to like in PPR leagues, projected around 80 to 90 catches. I think that's pretty fair in the slot position. Um, there is some worth in standard formats, but you got to knock him down a little bit due to the lack of finding the end zone. Um, it's really tough for me to get behind these slot guys in standard formats anyway. Uh, Kenny Stills was used as a big playmaker wide receiver in New Orleans, and I think he's going to be used the same way in Miami. Despite how I feel, I think he's, he's actually got a lot of talent as a wide receiver. And he has more to offer than just being that home run threat. Um, but until he shows ever, otherwise or a team puts more faith into him, um, he's just going to be a boomer bust guy each week. Jordan Cameron has to really come in as one of the top value plays in fantasy football this season as long as he stays healthy. Three concussions in the last few years, very scary. Um, I think, I mean, one more. I mean, you got to think of retirement after that point if you're hitting four concussions. Um but he's just a monster target, a red zone B, stretches the field very well. Um, guy's athletic. Right now he's on the fence of a of a top 10 wide receiver, but he's behind Julius Thomas and Delaney Walker. Could easily beat those guys out if they're going ahead of him. I'd rather rank Cameron ahead of those two um, there. We're going at the running game. Um, you know, from what Lamar Miller has shown, the tools are there to be a future back, although he's somewhat flawed in some aspects. But, I mean, the guy's been putting up numbers. How can you knock him for not you know, for anything really. Um, the attempts have not been there. That's been the issue. Although for what he's been putting up, you got to like him still as a fantasy running back. 1,100 yards, eight scores last season on just 216 attempts. 
give me 50 more attempts and, you know, Miller's making some, some major buzz coming into this season. Um, if he does attempts, if he does get his attempts in 2015, you got to really like him. Um, but I believe it's still somewhat of a committee um, with Miller being a semi-feature back and then you got guys behind him um, that are kind of just worthless at this point. I still think Jay Ajayi um, out of Boise State is not going to make an impact just yet. Um, you know, he's, you know, he was a great running back with a lot of upside coming into the draft. But the injuries have been something to keep an eye on. Uh, Lamar Miller, excellent RB2. I'd be happy to have him in my team. I think that the Dolphins are going to have a chance to make some noise in the AFC. I think they could possibly land a wild, a wild card spot or be in, at least in the hunt, um, as well as in fantasy, fantasy world here. Uh, watch out for the Dolphins.